So you guys may have seen the term screen refresh rate and touch sampling rate in the launch event of various devices. So are they both same or how are these two terms different? Let's find it out in today's video. So first up talking about the screen refresh rate which is quite easier to understand is compared to the touch sampling rate. So screen refresh rate means how many times your screen refresh in one second which basically means that if you have a screen of 60 hertz then the content in the screen refresh 60 times in one second so we can say that screen refresh rate is the number at which the display can render maximum frames in one second so this is everything you need to know about the screen refresh rate right now so now let's jump into the touch sampling rate so touch sampling rate is quite difficult to understand as compared to the screen refresh rate but i'll try to elaborate you everything you need to know about it touch sampling rate is the number of times a screen can sense a user touch input in a second to explain it a bit more is how many times your screen can refresh itself to register a user touch input in a second so let's take a smartphone that has a 60 hertz touch sampling rate which means which means that it will look for your touch 60 times in a second. So mathematically it translates that every 16.6 millisecond your smartphone will look for a touch input from the user. If the smartphone misses to register a touch input in one cycle then it will wait for another 16.6 millisecond to register your input. So if the cycle is larger your smartphone will take a longer time to register your tab and do processing accordingly. So if you increase the touch sampling rate by 120 hertz then it will reduce the cycle to 8.33 millisecond it eventually means that now the screen will refresh in every 8.33 milliseconds in comparison to 16.6 when we have a 60 hertz touch sampling rate so we know that with the increase in touch sampling rate you have a far better chance of registering your input because it refreshes in a lot smaller time than it used to so similarly if you increase the touch sampling rate to 240 hertz like asus rog 2 then the cycle will further be reduced to 4.16 millisecond which is amazing so basically it means that in every 4.16 millisecond the screen will refresh to look for a touch input and your screen taps will instantly be registered and processed without any delay so how does the screen refresh rate and touch sampling rate relate to each other then? So yeah, they are quite interrelated because if you use a display with same screen refresh rate and touch sampling rate, then let's say 60 hertz, then both the touch tracking and the screen refresh will occur in 16.6 millisecond and this delays the rendering of animation by one interval. However, if the sampling frequency of the same panel is increased to 120 hertz, it will track your touch faster in 8.3 millisecond than the time display takes to refresh. This will always starting rendering the next frame in the time for the very next screen update. That means you have already taken input from user while you are showing the user current frame and you have already gained some time which is 8.3 millisecond to render the next frame for the user which is going to be updated after the user's input. But in case when you have the same touch sampling rate and the screen refresh rate is before like 60 hertz then in the same cycle both user and screen refreshes so if you give input in this cycle then the next cycle has already been processed so you need to wait for the next cycle to complete and after that interval your content will be displayed accordingly so that means if you have a higher def higher screen refresh rate and higher touch sampling rate then the experience will be very immersive so generally the screen refresh rate is lower or same as the touch sampling rate so you don't have to worry about that so this is all you need to know about screen refresh rate and touch sampling rate so these are quite two different terms which are interrelated with each other and basically what it means is 
screen refresh rate is for your eyes basically to see how smooth our animation looks and how smooth our display is feeling but touch sampling rate for is for your finger so because you can exactly sense that how much time it is taking to respond for every touch but if they are two are not quite synchronized properly then you may not find the experience quite immersive so this is all for today guys if you have any question about screen refresh rate and touch sampling rate then don't forget to comment me below i'll try to explain you in the comment section as well so this is all for today hope to see you in the next one and peace